Hue refers to the basic color of something like red, blue, or yellow. It is determined by the color's specific wavelength in the visible spectrum. In simpler terms, hue is what we think of when we say color. For example, the hue of strawberries is red and the hue of grass is green. Saturation, it describes the intensity of a color. A highly saturated color looks vivid and bright, while a less saturated color appears more faded or dull. Think of it as the strength of the color. More saturation means a richer, more powerful color, and less saturation leads to a more washed out look. Value refers to how light or dark a color is. A color with a higher value is lighter, meaning it might have more white mixed in, like light blue. A color with a lower value is darker, like navy blue, which has some black mixed in. This helps determine the overall brightness of a color. Tint. A tint is created when white is added to a color, making it lighter. For example, if you add white to red, you get pink. Tints are used to create a softer or more delicate version of the original color, which can make designs feel more airy and less intense. Shade. A shade is made when black is added to a color, making it darker. For instance, adding black to blue results in navy. Shades are useful for giving depth and weight to colors, making them more subdued and sometimes more sophisticated. This technique is often used to create a moodier or more serious look in designs. Tone. A tone is created by adding gray to a color, which reduces its brightness and saturation, making it less intense and more muted. For example, adding gray to red results in a burgundy tone. Tones are often used in design to achieve a more subtle and sophisticated look, as they are softer than pure hues. Color Wheel A circular diagram that organizes colors based on their chromatic relationship. It shows primary colors, red, yellow, blue, secondary colors, orange, green, violet, and tertiary colors, like yellow, green, and blue, violet. The color wheel is a useful tool for understanding how different colors relate to each other and for creating pleasing color schemes in art and design. Primary colors. These are the base colors from which all other colors can be made. In the traditional color model used in painting and design, the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. These colors can't be created by mixing other colors together. Instead, they serve as the foundation for creating secondary and tertiary colors through mixing. Secondary colors. These are created by mixing two primary colors together. There are three secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. For example, mixing red and yellow makes orange, yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make purple. These colors are a step in complexity from primary colors and are used to enrich color palettes in art and design. Tertiary colors. These are formed by mixing a primary color with a secondary color adjacent to it on the color wheel. This results in six hues. Red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and red violet. These colors help create a more nuanced and diverse color palette, bridging the gap between the more straightforward primary and secondary colors. Complementary colors. These are pairs of colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. Examples include red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple. When used together, these colors create a strong visual contrast that is vibrant and eye-catching. This makes them particularly effective in art and design for drawing attention or adding excitement to a visual composition. Analogous colors. Analogous colors groups of three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. For example, teal, dark blue, and violet form an analogous color scheme. These colors usually match well and create harmonious and serene designs because they are closely related. Using analogous colors can make a design feel cohesive and soothing. Triadic colors. A set of three colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. A classic example of a triadic color scheme is red, yellow, and blue. This type of color scheme is vibrant and offers a high contrast while retaining harmony. It's great for creating a colorful and dynamic visual effect in design projects. Split complementary colors. These include a base color and the two colors adjacent to its complement on the color wheel. For example, if you choose blue as the base, its complement is orange, and the split complementary colors would be red-orange and yellow-orange. This scheme provides strong visual contrast like complementary colors, but with less tension, making it more versatile and easier to balance in designs. Rectangle color scheme. 
The Tetradic color scheme uses four colors arranged into two complementary pairs from the color wheel, forming a rectangle. For example, one might choose red and green, complementary, along with blue and orange, another complementary pair. This scheme offers plenty of color variety and can create vibrant, balanced, and harmonious designs suitable for dynamic and colorful compositions. It is important to manage the balance between the colors to ensure one does not overpower the others. Square color scheme, involves four colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel, forming a square. For instance, red, blue, green, and yellow can make up a square scheme. This arrangement offers a balanced mix of warm and cool tones and provides a vibrant palette with lots of possibilities for contrast and harmony. Like the rectangle scheme, careful balance is needed to ensure that no single color dominates the overall design. Monochromatic color scheme. It involves using variations in lightness and saturation of a single color. For example, different shades and tints of blue can be used together to create a monochromatic scheme. This type of scheme is easy to create and offers a sense of harmony and unity, as all colors are derived from the same base hue. It's a popular choice for creating subtle and sophisticated designs with a cohesive look. Warm colors. Hues that evoke warmth and can range from red to yellow including oranges and browns in between. These colors are often associated with fire, sunlight, and heat. They are known to stimulate emotions and can create a feeling of coziness and comfort. In design, warm colors are used to create inviting spaces, grab attention, and evoke feelings of happiness and enthusiasm. Cool colors include shades of blue, green, and purple, reminiscent of water, sky, and foliage. These colors are known for their calming and soothing effects. They are often used in design to create a sense of tranquility and spaciousness. Cool colors are popular in spaces designed for relaxation and concentration, such as bedrooms and offices, helping to reduce stress and promote calmness. Neutral colors include shades of black, white, gray, and sometimes beige and brown. These colors are versatile and timeless, providing a background that allows other colors to stand out. Neutrals can help create a balanced, calm, and elegant atmosphere in design. They are often used in various styles and settings because they blend well with other colors and help in achieving a sophisticated and understated look. Earth tones, a palette of colors inspired by nature, encompassing various shades of browns, tans, warm grays, greens, and oranges. These colors are muted and earthy, reminiscent of soil, rocks, trees, and foliage. Earth tones create a warm, nurturing environment and are often used in designs that aim to evoke a sense of stability, comfort, and connectivity to the natural world. They are popular in spaces that emphasize organic and eco-friendly aesthetics, RGB. Stands for red, green, and blue, the three primary colors of light used in various digital displays and electronic media devices like computers, TVs, and smartphones. This color model is based on the additive color theory, where colors are created by combining these three colors of light in different intensities. For example, mixing red and green light makes yellow, green and blue make cyan, red and blue make magenta, and combining all three produces white. The RGB model is essential for any digital color display technology. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, black. And it's a color model primarily used in color printing. This is a subtractive color model, meaning it works by subtracting light from a white background. As the inks overlap on paper through printing, they absorb, subtract, varying degrees of red, green, and blue light to produce other colors. CMYK is the standard for print media because it can accurately reproduce a wide range of colors by layering these four ink colors in different intensities. And there you have it. Did I miss any? Comment below and subscribe for more. Now continue watching these next videos.